In a world that seems to have moved on wholesale to smartphones and tablets, all of a sudden the notebook is red hot again, or more precisely, the Ultrabook. Those machines that have forget about it, battery life, instant on architecture, cases so slim you'll worry they're not eating, that's what I'm talking about. I'm Brian Cooley with CNET's top five Ultrabooks as of Q1 2012. Five machines that might make you forget about some laptop called the um, Air or something like that. Number five, Lenovo's IdeaPad U300S. Look how clean and austere the lines are on this guy, like a piece of art. Compared to a 13-inch MacBook Air, it matches it pretty much head for head, costs a bit less though, and it also offers USB 3.0, HDMI, even wireless external monitor support, which is kind of cool for a portable machine. But this is one of the earliest Windows Ultrabooks we tested, so it ranks a little lower than the ones that came next, like these. Number four, the ASUS ZenBook UX31. This one stands out for great audio from its speakers. I'm looking at you, MacBook Air. It's got a higher res screen than a 13-inch Air, lots of ports, and looks so much like the Apple product it ought to be embarrassed. We have found better trackpads, however, and the keys a little shallow and kind of mushy, but it matches the top-end MacBook Air for about 100 less MSRP. Number three, Toshiba's Portage Z835. The way we tested it, this is sort of to the MacBook Air as the Kindle Fire is to the iPad, which is to say, a little smaller and cheaper. Smaller in the sense that the keyboard's kind of cramped and odd, and cheaper in that it's $799 for our configuration. That does have an Intel Core i3 CPU, bit of a give back there, but overall this one says, so long luxury tax on light and thin. Number two, the Dell XPS 13. This machine is almost an optical illusion. The body seems barely large enough to contain a 13-inch display, but it does. And the aluminum, magnesium, and carbon fiber construction makes you wonder if you've got a laptop or a Ferrari race car. Great unique design on this one as well, but no HDMI port like several others, and battery life is a little soft for this crowd. Okay, the number one machine in the Ultrabook category that we are loving right now is the HP Folio 13. We gave it a CNET editor's choice. That's largely because it succeeds on so many important fronts you're gonna notice every day. Great battery life, good keyboard, lots of ports, a good trackpad as well, great display, all in a sub $900 price point. Now it's not so long on style, frankly, kind of plain and a little thick around the ankles, but you can get your style points somewhere else. This is currently the best of the bunch. For more top fives like this, head to top5.cnet.com. And for all our notebook, laptop, and ultrabook reviews, they're right there on the front door at cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.